The Institute of Hotel Management Mumbai, the first of its kind in Southeast Asia, was founded in the year 1954 by All India Women's Central Food Council under the leadership of late Srimati Leelawati Munshi. Late Srimati Leelawati Munshi, with a few women which included Srimati Humi J. H. Talair Khan and Srimati Leela N. Jog under the name of All India Women's Central Food Council, established a chain of Annapurnas or restaurants throughout the country but primarily in the metropolitan cities to prepare and sell economic but nutritionally sound snacks and foods. The purpose was to improve the nutritional status of the average from a high cereal diet to a more balanced diet. The critical factor, however, was to find trained personnel to run these Annapurnas on a self-financing basis. Hotel management and catering technology was still a young discipline in those days, even in the West. Hence the birth of the training institute, IHM Mumbai. There were six students when classes commenced in 1954 at Bhavan's College campus, Andheri. In 1958, the three-year diploma program in Hotel Management and Catering Technology was started, recognized by the Directorate of Technical Education, Maharashtra State. Keeping pace with the continuing growth, the institute shifted to its own separate campus in Dada, built on the land leased by the state government. The lime juice is added to the dough while making the dough because we want the glue, the dough again to have uh, it a little pliable. The course curriculum has undergone revision over the years keeping pace with the ever-changing industry. And normally we teach them international cuisine in first year and today's menu is prawn cocktail then fillet de pompe orle with uh, tomato sauce. See, normally the menu is given one week in advance. So they will go through that, they will learn the basics and then come. Then I will do a briefing. In the morning I will give a briefing what the menu is. If there are any changes, suppose certain items are we are not getting, then we will tell you, okay, for today we will change. Instead of using this, we may substitute with this. In fact, today's student is trained to keep pace with the ever-changing field of information technology. With regards to the front office, they look after the reservations of the various guests, registration and if there are any specific needs that are required for the guests, for groups, airlines, all of that they look after. If they need anything to do with the business centre, that is also looked after. Then they have a concierge section, so that caters to all the extra needs of the guests. Maybe if they require to go within the city for a city tour or if they require onward booking, anything to do with shopping, any kind of special requirements are catered to. Then with regard to the housekeeping department, uh, they look after basically the, the guest rooms and the public areas, maintenance, upkeep. So we even uh, train the students basically to checking of guest rooms, how do you go about cleaning the various areas. So they kind of start right from scratch, cleaning, checking, then making flower arrangements. Then we also look after the, uh, after the linen and the laundry sections. We deal with restaurant service, we are talking about food and beverage service, we are talking about food service, beverage service, which includes both alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages. Uh, we do in three stages, the first year they learn the basic of the restaurant service and the non-alcoholic service. Second year is more relevant to the beverage service, which is alcoholic beverages, the production to service, everything is taught in the second year. Uh, third year we do advanced type of a service, which is to get on service, cocktails, setting up a restaurant, planning a restaurant, planning a bar. So we are talking about much more in detail. This is like a simulation of a restaurant. So exactly what happens in a restaurant, they do it here. So I will serve your caviar. Uh, this is a caviar timbal and in, in which there is crushed ice to keep the caviar cold. And uh, generally two teaspoons are given to the guests. 
a meager number of 6 students in 1954 the number of graduates emerging from the institutes today amount to about 2000 from 25000 applicants representing four decades of catering education in india the mumbai is not the oldest institute of the country but it it is one of the best institute in the country as it has been ranked in the different Uh, surveys which were conducted independently by the outlook by the week and other magazines we are also running uh, uh, some government aided programs which is called as hunar se rozgar program uh, these are meant for uh, students who have uh, left their studies early they have finished the 8th standard they can't pursue their studies further so we take these people I and mean, even the age span is bigger the placement at present in the institute is about 80% where they where the students are getting a job at the managerial level supervisory level and some of them are also getting job at the entry level once all these layers are completed mark up the pastry we'll brush a little bit of egg wash trim off the sides from the tin and then we'll cool it for some time rest in the refrigerator for about 20 30 minutes and then we'll go for a final bake at about 160 for 40 minutes till the pastry is ready In order to compete on an international stage in the field of hospitality education, modern equipment, up-to-date curriculum and dedicated faculty is essential and imperative to attain and maintain global standards.